As an instrument-rated pilot, you will have easier access to large airports you might not venture into under visual flight rules. These busy airports require procedures for sequencing aircraft to an instrument approach. Arrival charts provide a smooth transition from the en route structure to busy terminal areas. They simplify arrival procedure instructions and let you and the controllers know what to expect. Standard terminal arrival routes, or STARS, use similar charting conventions as departure procedures. Unlike departure procedures, which help you navigate from an airport to the en route structure, STARS take you from the en route structure down to the vicinity of an airport. They terminate at a fix or nav aid from which you can begin an instrument approach procedure or at a position where ATC can vector you for an approach. STARS normally contain both a graphic depiction of the procedure that follows normal conventions for terminal charts and a textual description of all transitions plus the arrival route. STARS are published in the corresponding terminal procedures booklet, but unlike DPs, they are filed alphabetically by procedure name near the front of each booklet. You can use the index for determining what STARS are available for a particular city or airport. Let's look at the Lemig 1 arrival for San Antonio, Texas. This arrival, like most STARS, consists of multiple transition routes and an arrival route. This particular arrival utilizes radar vectors to the final approach course. You can distinguish the arrival route from the transitions by the bold route line. You will also notice that the star is named for the fix at which the arrival route begins. In addition to San Antonio International Airport, the Lemig 1 arrival also serves Stinson Municipal Airport, Kelly Air Force Base, and Randolph Air Force Base. You will find this star listed under each of these airports in the index. The Lemig 1 arrival also contains information that will help jet pilots plan their descents. The vertical navigation planning section on some stars may contain several altitude step-down fixes. Because of the large geographic area covered by standard terminal arrival routes, the charts are normally not drawn to scale. When you file for a star on your flight plan, use an appropriate code, just as you do for a departure procedure. For example, the code for the Corpus Christi transition of the Lemig 1 arrival would be CRP.LEMIG1. Notice that the transition portion of the code is listed first for a star, but last on a departure procedure. Whenever a major revision occurs to a star, the number is changed. The next revision for this star will be Lemig 2 arrival. Standard terminal arrival routes expedite your descent from the en route structure and position your aircraft at a point where you can begin an approach. Unless you indicate no star on your flight plan, ATC can assign one anytime they need to. Being familiar with these procedures will enable you to fly IFR into the most congested airspace with confidence.